Hello, this is a short tutorial for students that might be using Google Meets. Uh, so uh, I'm just thought I'd start off like this. You might be sat at home uh, doing an online lesson and then you're going to go to your Google Classroom normally where there will be a link posted. You may get this via Google Hangouts, uh, maybe even by email. Uh, and this is the link that will take you through to your uh, lesson. So my teacher uh, has started her lesson. So if I click on this, it will take me through to Google Meet. My camera's on, hello, I'm back. Uh, and then I can click in. So if I just go through what you've got on your screen, uh, at the bottom of the screen, we have uh, microphone, I can turn my microphone on and off. I can end the call or I can turn uh, my camera on and off. In the top right hand side, I can see who else is in my lesson. Uh, so I may get some more of my colleagues join in a second. I can also chat, uh, so I can put a text post on there, so I could click down here and say hello, and that will go on there. So it may be uh, I've got a question for another member of the class, and uh, they might be able to help me out with a piece of work. If I want to show my teacher, oh, so Sophia has joined as well. Uh, if I wanted to show my teacher some of my work and maybe ask them for some sort of anywhere, I get these icons down at the bottom. Uh, we'll get to turn captions on in a second. We'll just do present, which is really helpful. So I click present. I've got entire screen or window. So if it's a window, if you're just working on your uh, web browser, you could do that. Just for example, I'll click your entire screen right now. You get this option. So you're basically saying, do you want the entire screen? Do you give it permission? So click on it, then click share. Now what happens is my, my camera is still available to the teacher but also my presentation is also available. So my teacher can click on it and I can go to um, a piece of work like this. And I can say, right, I've done this piece of work. What do you think? Can you give me some feedback? Uh, I can click through uh, and ask, I've done this, I've tried that. What do you think of this? What do I need to improve? Etc. And then my teacher can talk back to me. So Helen, is it good? It's very good. And I'm we very go. impressed. <laughs> um, and then at any point I can stop presenting by clicking here or I can go back down here and say you are presenting stop presenting and then that will stop if you've got sound issues maybe there's um, some form of problem where you want some text to come up what you can do is turn captions on so I click on this and then if Helen says something hello Dave how are you doing there we go uh, it's picked me up as well, just because of the nature of the uh, the fact that we're talking through computers that are next to each other. That wouldn't happen if you were uh, remote learning. Um, when you are done and you're finished, um, you can obviously just click and the call. The little icon in the middle is to do with uh, you can mute different participants, which your teacher can do. Uh, you can pin or unpin. So, for example, I just wanted to talk to uh, my teacher, Helen. I could click on... Uh, and I could pin that so she'll stay on or join with other people and then at the end I can just click end call and it'll go back like that and the link that you've created will still be active so at any point I could go back to Google Classroom click join that is helpful enjoy <laughs>